Today, we're gonna to take a quick dive into how to set up a membership site using Ghost. So let's jump right in. Welcome back to the channel, my name is David, and I'm gonna show you the really simple way you can set up a membership site using the Ghost platform. Now, if you want a more in-depth overview of kind of what a membership site is and kind of my theory behind it, I made a separate video a while back. Every membership site is made up of three different things, content, community, and access. So content is what they come for, community are the people they embrace and become a part of, and access is the way they can consume that content where other people cannot. So in one of the early ghost videos, I covered how to make the community aspect work, mainly through integrations with Ghost using Zaps. You can either use a, another platform like Circle, or you can use a more native solution like Cove, which will embed comments into different posts and give you community in that aspect. This video is gonna be focused on the first and last element of content and access. So let me show you how to make that work. So we're in the dashboard right now. So I'm gonna go ahead on the left hand menu all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna click the settings gear. And from there, I'm gonna head over to membership. So you'll see that the settings are kind of divided by website, members, and advanced. And right now we're just gonna focus on the membership one. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there aren't a million different options here. That's because a membership site doesn't need to be as complicated as a lot of people make it. It's about content, access, and community. The community is the part where you bring people together. The content and access you can all do right here. What are you making for people and how are you allowing them to consume it? So we're gonna go ahead and just jump through these so I can show you the different options. We're gonna show the portal last, but first let's look at subscription access. So you can see that there's three different things here. Anyone can sign up. So that's basically your free members or subscribers who are just getting introduced to your content. You can also make your website an invite only. So if you are making a very private closed community and you don't want random people signing up for it this is one option you could pursue and then the final option is that nobody can sign up again this probably isn't a great option for long term but in the immediate if you're still trying to build up your website you're still getting content up and you don't necessarily want people on your list yet or being exposed to anything you're doing you can just close it down so that no one can sign up and that option will just be off until you turn it back on the next setting here is the default post access so let's expand that and we're going to see three more options again. So public again is kind of just like the first option above where anyone can see that particular article or content that you posted. Next is members only. So depending on how you set up your tiers and the access level, this could mean free people who are subscribed and have access to free level content, or also people you've given a complimentary subscription in some way. Below that are the paid members only, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Those are people on one of your premium plan to are paying to access the top level of your content. Now at the very bottom here, you're gonna see a few different things. First, that I am already connected to Stripe, so Ghost uses Stripe to accept payments. They have a bunch of really helpful tutorial on their help docs if you need any help getting that worked out. And then below that, you're gonna see that I have two tiers right now, free and premium. If I expand it, you're gonna see that I have the option to send them to a specific welcome page once they sign up. And for the premium one, I have a few more options here, namely to set the pricing on a monthly or yearly basis. It's worth noting that this membership feature within Ghost was just launched this year in 2021, so it's continuing to develop and get features added to it. So if you're looking for something specific, I would definitely keep an eye on all the updates coming to this great platform. All right, now I'm gonna scroll right back up and we're gonna take a look at Portal really quickly. Now, Portal is the name for how people are subscribing and becoming members or supporters of your work. You can see a little preview here. This is what the portal will look like to people who are signing up. Right now, I just have a spot for the name and email and a call to action button right there. So let's click on this and you're gonna see a few more options come up. I can decide not to ask for a name and only collect the email, which might drive signups up because it's a one less step people have to take. I can also add the premium options right there so they can subscribe or choose a plan immediately. I can also decide whether or not I want to show the button in the corner and change the icon or add text to draw more attention to it. Then if I go up to the top menu, you're gonna see a few more options. The account menu is what your subscribers and members will see when they're logged in. So they're gonna see 
the information they put in and if they want to edit it, the plan they're on, whether it's free or paid, and some billing info below that. Once I head over to the links page, you're going to see a bunch of different links related to the membership site and where you want to send people and how you want to organize this. So this can be used in a few different cool ways, but we'll save that for another longer video. Uh, just so you know, this is where they live. Let me go ahead and close out of here without saving any of the changes. And we're back to the main page of the membership site settings. As you can see, that was a quick walkthrough. I did want to show you two additional things. So if I hop over to a blog post and I click on the side menu bar there, you're going to see that you can change the post access level of any post directly in the editor. So for example, let's say I'm writing this post and I was going to make it public, but I decide this is actually going to be for members only or paid members only. I can make that change right there. And so the second thing I want to share is what information you can see about your members. So I'm going to hop over to the next tab and I just made a quick basically blank member card with a random email that I have. And you're gonna see that it populates with the image I have attached to that email, some information about that. I can also add labels to the different members there, depending on where they might have come from or other ways I wanna segment the list. I can also add a note or notes for that particular individual. As I scroll down, you can see that I have the option to turn on or off their free subscription to the newsletter. And then below that, I can either add, remove, or cancel a complimentary subscription. If they have a current subscription, paid or free, I can also see what that is here. So to the right, I can see their member activity. So I can see what emails and articles they've opened and read uh, to see just you know how active they are with the content they're a part of. And right above that, again, some numbers. So I just made this member account, so everything's zero. But when you have real members they'll hopefully be opening your emails reading your content and interacting with the membership they're a part of all right so that was a quick overview of the membership settings in ghost how to build a membership site using the ghost platform again it's about the content community and access the content part is what you're creating access is the settings i showed you on how to allow or disallow people to read and consume that content. And the community is the way you're bringing those people together to have a deeper relationship with you and each other. If you have any additional questions about membership sites in general or things you specifically want to accomplish using Ghost, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time.